thank you for uh, watching. My name's Shelley, and um, today I thought I would bring you just some ideas of some of the things that I'm going to be making. Um, sorry I haven't been on for a while. I have been quite busy. I've been away um, for a couple of weeks and various other things that I've been up to, so I haven't actually been able to do a video for a while. But today I thought I would bring you a video with some of the lovely fabrics that I've found on some of my travels and some of the ideas that I've got for things that I'm going to sew. Um, but just before I do that, just to let you know that I finally made my daughter's ultimate trousers from the Sew Over It pattern and they came out really nicely. I'll pop a video in so you can see them and I'm really, really pleased with them and she's really, really pleased with them as well. She says she's worn them a couple of times and um, she really likes them. So yeah, so I'm really pleased with the pattern. That's, that's the third time I've made them now and one of the fabrics I have bought is a plain pattern to actually make it to make them again so as I said this is a bit of a fabric haul video with some of the ideas that I'm going to be using the fabric for um, hopefully I will be making those in the uh, items the garments sorry in the next few weeks but those of you that know me know that um, that doesn't always pan out and often I get distracted and make um, things that I haven't actually planned and do other things. But I'm going to show you the fabrics. I'm really pleased with them. I'll let you know where I've got them. I'll leave links to all the fabrics below and um, where I get the patterns from. Um, so yeah, so this is my fabric haul and hopefully um, my um, planned makes for the next month. So the first um, fabric I'm going to show you is a really nice stretch denim fabric which I bought in a quite a pale blue colour. Um, it's a really lovely denim, it's a really nice quality denim and it's got a slight, very slight stretch to it and I'm planning on making yet another pair of ultimate trousers, um, so over it ultimate trousers with this fabric because I've, all the ultimate trousers that I've made so far have all been from patterned fabrics or floral fabrics and I thought actually it would be quite nice to have a nice plain um, fabric and I didn't really want a dark denim colour um, so I thought I'd opt for this pale blue um, stretch cotton denim and as I said it is a very very nice quality um, denim one of the nicest qualities that I've felt actually and it's from a, um, a fabric company called Higgs and Higgs um, and they if you look on their website they've got some really really lovely nice fabrics so I ordered this one and I'm really really pleased with the quality of it so hopefully the sew over it trousers will come out really really nicely um, from this particular fabric um, yeah so that's what I'm planning on doing this one it's a, it's their pale blue color and it's um, stretch a stretch cotton denim from Higgs and Higgs and I'll leave a I'll leave a link below for that one um, the next pattern that I've got um, an idea to make is um, the another sew over it pattern and it's the sew over it ultimate shirt dress pattern now I haven't made this one before and actually I've never made a shirt dress before to be honest um, I got the pattern because I'd seen other people wearing it and I thought actually it looks quite nice possibly a nice dress to wear in the summer um, with some soft fabric or you could dress it up with um, uh, uh, boots in the winter and I thought actually I'll have a go because I'm not what I've, I've not worn a shirt dress either but the people I've seen wearing it look really really nice so it's the sew over it ultimate shirt dress and the fabric I've chosen for that was a, is a really really nice cotton fabric which has got these um, flamingos on it is that the right way up yeah and it's a it's a nice unusual fabric and again it's come from a fabric shop um, the fabric shop is a fabric shop in the new forest in a place called new milton and it's called timeless fabrics and they only have what what i could see because i actually went into the shop which was really lovely because it's nice to feel the quality of the fabric before buying because lots of the fabric i buy is generally online because uh, i don't get to go into fabric shops very often but this was really nice because i was on on holiday in the new forest I saw this shop I popped in um, timeless fabrics and it was really nice to feel the the actual quality of the fabrics and the fabrics that she has in the shop are really really nice and I fell in love with this flamenco um, fabric 
and I thought that's gonna make a really really fun shirt dress and it's quite it's not it, it it's it's cotton but it's got a little bit of a drape to it it's not too stiff so I think it will come it will come out um, okay using this fabric so I'm hoping to make this one shortly and uh, once again I'll leave a, um, a link to their shop below but she had some really really nice fabrics in there and um, I don't know what it's like um, to make the ultimate shirt dress if anybody's made it before it'd be interesting to hear whether the pattern is um, pretty simple to do I mean all the other sew over it patterns that I've done have been relatively easy to follow so hopefully this one won't be too difficult obviously the only difference here that I'm going to be making all the buttons down the front which I'm not really um, used to doing that many buttons but I'll have a go so yeah so I'm looking forward to, to doing this one I hope you can see that it's got all these different colour flamencos, um, flamingos all the way down the fabric. So, and I think that's a really, really sweet fabric. And I like the colour of the background as well. It's just this subtle, very, very soft grey background. So hopefully the colours are coming across um, to you um, okay. But that's a really, really nice fabric. And I've never made anything in um, bird fabrics before. And I know that at the moment they're pretty... Um, they're getting um, pretty common to do, pretty um, popular, all these different bird pr uh, patterns. So I, th I saw that and I thought I'm going to have a go at uh, the ultimate shirt dress for that one. So I'll let you know. And again, that's from Timeless Fabrics and I'll leave the link below. So the next fabric I've got to show you is another fabric which I fell in love with with Timeless Fabrics and it's a jersey fabric and it's a really lovely quality jersey fabric and it's lovely and soft and it's got this, it's like a teal colour, again it's got um, birds on it and I think they're swans, I can't quite make it out, I think they are swans and you've got some swans which have um, got a block of colour and others which are just like a, ske a, a sketch of colour and it's a really it's got a really lovely stretch and I can definitely tell the difference in the quality of this um, stretch jersey compared to other stretch jerseys that I've bought off of eBay it is a really really nice quality um, and I think this one was about 14 pounds a metre if I'm right maybe maybe a bit less maybe no I think it was 11 about 11 pound a meter this one about 11 pounds a meter so that's generally more than what I would normally pay for a fabric to be honest um because I'm quite a bit of a cheapskate and I like to get the bargain cheap fabrics but I saw this and I fell in love with it and I thought you know what that will make a really really nice um Tilly and the Buttons Agnes top and I only bought half a meter because I thought that um did I buy half a meter no sorry I didn't I bought a meter of this one I did buy a meter of it um because I've made the Agnes top before and I thought it will and it will definitely um be enough with one meter because it's quite a wide fabric so I really like this it's got a lovely stretch to it and when you feel it you can definitely feel the quality and again it's from timeless fabrics again in the new forest so that one was about I think it was I think it was probably about 12 pound a meter and I didn't tell you sorry the the flamenco, the the, the uh, flamingo um, fabric was also, I think that was about, um, also about eleven pounds a meter. But it, there, it's on their website, so you can you can find that um, quite easily on their website. So yeah, so I'm going to be making the. Uh, the Tilly and the Buttons Agnes top with this one. I have made the Tilly and the Buttons Agnes top before. It's a really, really simple pattern to, to do and very quick to sew up. And I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to do it in um, with long sleeves or short sleeves, um, like a three quarter length sleeve or a cap sleeve or something. I haven't decided yet. I suppose it depends on the amount of fabric that it takes, but I'm, I think I have probably got enough for um, full length sleeves even though I did only buy a metre so yeah so it's got this lovely stretch to it really really nice stretch and, and the quality is is beautiful and it's so soft so I'm looking forward to sewing um, the Agnes top again with that one. Now the final fabric I've got I am absolutely thrilled with and it is a really really pretty sequined fabric which I'll show you in a moment 
and it was really cheap actually it was only about five pounds fifty a meter and what I've bought it for is a um, tunic to wear over a swimming costume and I've been looking around for quite some time for a nice tunic pattern to um, wear over a swimming costume just walking around the pool or on the beach and I found this new look pattern and I thought oh that's really lovely I'm gonna have a go at that one and it's new look 62.83 and it's got obviously one, one, two, three, it's got four different views but I actually like the view that the girl is wearing and I'm going to have a go at making that one and I'm hoping that won't be too difficult to do. I know new look patterns are actually quite easy to follow so I'm going to be having a go at that one and the fabric I bought for that one I absolutely love and I think it's going to make a really fabulous um, uh, tunic to put around the pool and I hope that you can see it it's these florally um, it's a floral pattern but on it it has got these um, little tiny blue shimmering sequins and I, I don't know if that's actually coming across on the camera the actual sequin the shimmer of the sequins but it is so pretty and I'm really looking forward to making that and it's sheer it's a sheer fabric as well I think it's like a um, some sort of crepe or Georgette crepe something like that and I absolutely fell in love with this fabric when I saw it um, particularly and I thought that's going to make a really lovely um, tunic to wear over the top of a swimming costume so I hope that the um, sequins and the shimmer of it is coming across and I got that from um, this one was online um, and I got it from a company called So Essential but what was so good about it was that it was only £5.50 a metre so I hope they've still got some if you want it go and get some I bought two meters of it and it's got such a lovely drape so it's going to hang really really beautifully and I just and I thought mm, what's the quality going to be like for 550 a meter and actually I'm really really pleased with it so I can't wait to make this um this tunic top and to wear it so and it's a bit of a bargain this one actually for the actual fabric um the quality of the fabric I think it's a really nice quality and um, I actually do think that this one's a bit of a bargain for £5.50 a metre so if you fancy that get on to So Essential and go and have a look at that and again I'll leave a link below to that so they're kind of all of the fabrics that I'm thinking of doing um, projects for in hopefully the next month. I have got loads more fabrics in my stash which I need to sort out and sort out some ideas for those but I just keep finding fabrics and wanting to buy them so I thought I've got to start actually making some things. So I'm going to try and get those all made up this month and hopefully once they're made up I can then bring you the finished um, garments. Um, as I said I'll leave all the links below to all of the um, fabrics. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed watching this video and if you have please could you leave a thumbs up and a like and if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please do and once again thank you to all the comments that people are leaving. I've tried to get back to all of you um, as soon as I can and I really enjoy reading your comments and um, any ideas that you have. So um, and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do so and I'm really exciting because I'm actually getting lots of subscribers now coming up to the 500 mark so that, that I'm really really pleased and I'm pleased that you're actually enjoying my videos so thank you very much for that and I will come back to you again um, shortly hopefully with some more made garments for you to see out of these lovely fabrics and thanks for watching and I'll see you all again soon thanks again bye bye bye